I, I, I honestly just think people have been waiting for the longest time to just shit on me. I'm back. All right, so now we can do like a, you know, an impromptu AMA because, you know, Soren's eating and uh, I'm not going to queue without him. Might as well just wait for him. So we can, we can get going. Am I going to miss playing with Core? Yeah, of course, man. I think Core is... Obviously, a really great player, and he was my probably person I was closest to on the team for the whole year, uh, or year and a half that he was there, and I was there. So I think we made a really great duo, and a lot of the stuff that we accomplished we couldn't have done it without Core. He's a fucking insane player, like he is so good. Especially his performance at MSI was like he was smurfing it. Uh, but, but, you know, I'm obviously really excited to play with Vincent again because he's my friend. I think he has a lot of potential. Um, I think Vincent's good, but we need to push each other to improve. Like, I think me as, like, I'm not even saying this, like, in a pass aggressive way. Like, we both need to improve a lot, um, if we want to be sort of back at the top again. And we need to have the mindset of just, just assuming that we're not in our best form yet. Like, we need to... I guess start like min maxing our play and getting things like more refined. And I think Core me, and me did that pretty well together, but me and Vincent can definitely have that situation going on as well. I learned a lot on TL at least. Sense of relief coming back to TSM, yeah. Uh you ready to make content with Bobby Schmurda? I'm actually so excited to play with BB. I think this guy is amazing player, uh for how experienced he is. The guy is like, he, he he seems to have a great attitude. I have personally not played with him, but I've heard great things about his attitude. Um, he doesn't seem to, like, people say that, have told me, and, you know, people on TSM have told me he's not a resource hog. He can play strong side and carry. He can play weak side and not feed. Like, BB has tons of potential. I think what we need, what TSM needs is a clear game plan, a clear direction. I've always been either the main or one of the main shot callers on every team that I've been on the last four years with the exception of like last split uh so yeah I feel like I can bring a lot to the team in terms of that but also just in terms of my individual play I think him being able to rely on bot lane to carry the game and not make mistakes uh play aggressively make make things happen I think I can do a lot of stuff and make BB look even better but I played really against him in that best of five last year spring finals where we reverse swept and bb was playing really well that series really really well i was i was actually he was probably the top player that i was most afraid of facing kevin was not a resource hog now either yeah i feel bad for brock's side i don't think he came into the situation knowing any of this stuff was going to happen i feel really shitty for him i think brock's is you know he, he rolls with the punches though he's like, he, he'll be able to handle it and uh like get back up i guess uh, let's see here. I didn't watch any videos about me moving to TSM now. The way I see it is like everyone had been waiting for the longest time to shit on me, right? Like, cause it's just boring. If you watch League from season six to season ten, I've been winning every single split since then. So, season five summer, season six summer, season seven summer, season eight spring summer, season nine spring summer, like. I pretty much won every single year, and I'm not even saying this to like flex my ego or anything. I, I, I honestly just think people have been waiting for the longest time to just shit on me, and they can't because I kept winning. And now like everyone's just basically has like the fuel, has the ammunition. It actually makes me pretty excited. Like I think I'm really excited to like turn it around. Make those people shut the fuck up. And also, like, TSM hasn't been able to get a Worlds for two years. Hasn't accomplished really anything in the last two years since I've been gone. I think it would be really sick if I came back and, like, we turned it around. Uh, and it would be a redemption It would be a redemption arc for me and TSM. So I'm pretty excited to just, like, I guess, start this new journey. And... Um, I think it'll be good. I think me and Soren together on the same team just makes makes a good team, period. End of story. Kind of cool. Thanks for the sub. We've been, we've been like, I don't know. 
we've been uh, on our own like little separate journeys, right? Like I think Soren's been losing a lot, but he's been going through a lot of personal development. I've been winning a lot. Then I had this humongous slump or just bad split. And I, I went through a lot of personal development through this whole thing as well. So I think it's cool that we can come back and like, I guess, share our experiences with each other. We're still good friends. We've always been good friends. It's been good. I'm, I'm actually super hyped to be on TSM. I, I, I basically want to like, I don't know. Be, I want to fresh start, be a part of a team that uh, just has a lot of has a lot of fun, has a lot of energy, has a lot of just like camaraderie, I guess. I think I think TSM could be that. I've always been the kind of guy who I want to hang out with my teammates even after scrims. Um, I want to I want to feel like comfortable and I want to have I want to have a fun time playing scrims, but I also want I want to like have fun, but I also want to try hard if that makes sense. Uh, so you know, at the end of the day, like all all the arguments that we have and you know, if I tell someone like X, Y, Z, like you're doing this wrong, you're doing this badly, there's no hard feelings. But I think if you have like a more negative environment, it's really hard to give negative feedback, right? Because you're just, you feel like you're making it even worse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I definitely viewed my teammates on TL as my friends, yeah. Just not as deeply as when I was on TSM. Like they're definitely my friends. It's not like we were only coworkers or only like just teammates, that's it. I was honestly just really surprised at the end of the split. Like, I, I talked about this in my vlog, but I thought that our team was friends. And obviously, friendship doesn't create results, right? But friendship does, I think, allow you to have a deeper connection with somebody to the point where, like, you trust them to, you trust them to, like, take your feedback seriously. You trust them to understand it's, it's no hard feelings, uh, but, like, I guess uh, the mutual respect, right? Like, I want you to do this, not for not because you necessarily want to or like you feel like it, but because you care about the team, because you care about me and the rest of the team, and you want us all to succeed. Like, that's why you're gonna do it. So that's how I kind of felt at the end of season nine. Was like we had a really strong roster, and even even season eight with Ole and Pobelter, I thought we had pretty strong like roster. Not that not the best roster ever, but like. Enough where we didn't need to make any changes. Like, both times we made changes. And, I mean, I can't really complain about season 8 to 9 in the sense that, like, we had we ended up winning with Cora and Jensen. And I think on paper those were upgrades. But I, I talked about this in the vlog. It's just, like, I, I don't think the right thing to do is to always make a roster change. Um, and I've always essentially been against roster changes for that reason. It's just, unless somebody's, like, you feel like they're a lost cause. It's not... Yeah. It's just not... I, I can't really agree with it, personally. I have no idea what's happening with Kabe. Sorry, dude. Fuchs and Style are different than Jensen's. I don't think Styles really exist anymore. You're either just good or bad. You Varying degrees of playing better and better. I think, Be I think Soren plays really well. They're both interested in solo queue. Bjergsen and Jensen. But I think Storm plays super well. And uh, I'm just looking forward to playing with him. I mean, it's fucking Bjergsen, guys. You know he's going to carry the game. Yeah, I mean, I hated playing with Ole, dude. I hated it. At times. Not like the whole time. But um, even though I hated it, like, at times, I still wanted him to have a chance, I guess. Uh, I think ideally you have talented players with synergy, yeah. What's my main goal? Isn't it obvious we're gonna smash summer split, win, go to worlds? That's what I want. That's what everyone wants, but I think this roster is pretty stacked now. It's Horizon, yeah. the guy who asked if you would rejoin TSM five days before the in-houses. Your answer was no, I'm a mind reader. Congrats. Wow. You knew that He's this would happen off. somehow, even though this whole thing happened like within the span of a, two weeks. Okay. He knew. He knew he TL knew was gonna make nine. Predicted the future. The last two weeks of LCS. I know. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sad. If we beat C9, we probably would have made it in playoffs. None of this shit would happen. But that's a good thing. None you know, of this. None of this. None of this fucking happen. garbage. I would have ended up on a shit team like CSF. <laughs> Wait, what? 